You come to play? Yeah. What time you got baseball practice? Uh, I'll ride probably come like 2.20. I'll probably be actually building by then. I appreciate you hanging out with me for this build. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is a ready to build play set I got from Menards and I'm actually putting it together for my nephew and niece. So all I'm doing is following directions, taking the pieces out of the box and putting them together. During this process, the main thing I tried to do was follow all the measurements and make sure everything is square. I'm not gonna show every step of the directions, but this is one of the first assemblies and you'll notice I'm pre-drilling everything. I just thought this would be the best way to go to avoid any problems and it's what the directions said to do. The first thing I did when I opened the directions was separate all the pieces by size and put them in stacks so that when I needed something, I could go right to the stack and get it. This is the template I used for all the pre-drilling. It came with a kit and it was super useful in getting this thing done. those directions and let's look at what page we're on and you're kind of gonna set me up so that we can keep next steps rolling I started all the assembly for the project in the garage and on the driveway and that's probably the best decision I made because it really gave me a good surface to work with and then moved everything back to the backyard The floorboards turned out to be the only step that I needed to make any cuts with for a saw. 
So I started it flush with the edge, and when I got to the end, the last board didn't fit flush, so that was my only modification to the kit. Uh, so we're gonna go on this. Get you on this side. This is the hardest thing. It will. Oh, we all get our own side. Yeah, you're on the corner. Oh yeah. Oh, Gary ain't even doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's it's going. Wait, we gotta ground. lift it up. Oh, Dave. We're lifting. What I'm supposed to do? Pick it up. Gary ain't doing nothing. Oh, it's gotta fall forward. I got the heavy part. Sorry. You're pushing backwards. I'm pushing y'all. I got the heavy part. I'm by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all. We're going to that second flag. The, 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 in the middle. And we're putting my edge all the way against the back. So we got to turn it? Nope. Keep going. Keep coming. Keep coming. Go on this side all the way to the back. I swear Gary was like, ah! <laughs> doing all the lifting. That was all the lifting. Listen. All right. How old are you? 32. How old are you? How old are you? 29. 44? <laughs> I think smart and I work smart. <laughs> yep, now reach up. There you go. I got you. Go ahead. I know, I got you. Go. So now she can do it by herself. Samaya is the rough child. There you go. She's like, help me. Come on, Samaya. You did it. <laughs> Watch out. Go ahead, jump. Jump. I have made a swing set before, but I did that without any plans. And one of the benefits that I really see with this ready to assemble play kit is that it has all the amazing hardware with it. And that makes all the difference in sturdiness and structure and the build quality of this play set. Uh, okay. I ain't satisfied. That's just because it's his birthday. Okay. His birthday on the 13th. It was like I told him when my birthday came. Mm -hmm.
set comes in a few different variations and this variation has the adventure tunnel edition which is what i'm building right now and one of the things that's also awesome about this kit is as the kids grow it will be able to be modified to change and grow with them so you can add different add-ons to build it bigger This project took me two solid days start to finish, starting with a couple of Menards trips Friday morning, working all through the day and through Saturday. The only real problem I ran into was here at the end of the build where I didn't follow the directions all the way and they tried to warn me of how to put this together to avoid this problem. Um, we're gonna put this on real quick. So, I just might need you to hold it up in brackets. They go just kind of up underneath on the side. Okay. So we just kind of need to get it in there. And uh, dang, I see something that I wasn't. The bolt. I ended up removing the top two bolts from the climbing wall and then I attached it underneath to the adventure tunnel. Then I had to re-measure where those holes were so that I could re-drill through the outside of the post and secure the wall.
Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. And a big shout out to my sister Polly and my brother Angel for letting me build this thing in their yard.